headed into the woods this morning. It's a cool 55 degrees. Gonna do some squirrel hunting, see what we can't do. Got old Anthony Holly out here. First ever hunt. So he's really putting the pressure on me to have him get something. But now he'll learn at the end with the tables turned. Lord, forgive me. Take me on down the river where the guilt can't find a red hand to center. On where the grave can't cry out. Cause I've done wrong. Down the river with a hand on a colt and a finger on the trigger. Headed into the woods this morning. It's a cool 55 degrees. Gonna do some squirrel hunting, see what we can't do. Got old Anthony Holly out here. First ever hunt. So he's really putting the pressure on me to have him get something. But we're gonna try to deer hunt out here later this year. Me and Bentley came out here and scouted a little bit. It looks pretty good. But we're gonna get in the woods and see if we can't shoot a squirrel in the face. Or 10. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. Five apiece. Stick to the legal limit. Anthony Holly with his first shot missed. You were low. Yeah. He's still up there. He didn't move. Where hold on now. Where'd he go? Where what tree are we talking about here again? He's still up there, we'll find him. You can't let that one live. We made our way into this little stand of hardwoods in here. We got a bunch of oaks. We've already seen two of them in here, but they just keep giving us the slip. A couple little ones back here behind me. Just, they're not staying around. They're just getting quickly to wherever they're going. Not giving us a shot. We thought we'd bring the 22s and should have brought the shotguns. about the woods. Alright, what's up guys? Uh, we're heading out to the public land. I went out there, uh, I don't know, two weeks ago and I set some trail cameras up. I was going to wait a little bit longer before I went and checked them, but we're going out there to do some scouting and hang a couple more cameras today. Beard's looking a little wild, ain't it? All right. Well, anyways, it's a good beard. Buddy. Got a got a special guest here today. He's gonna be 
get to know him. All right, this guy is something special. We got Money Mike over here. Oh my, <laughs> you did not just do that. <laughs> I told him not to say that before. That's not. There he is. That's right. How's everybody doing? Loving the weather out here. It's still kind of hot. You know, we're in the 80s. Um, so, you know, it's making it tough to get out here. We're, we're sweating some pounds off walking through the walking through the woods, but uh, it's always worth it. You know, you get out here a little bit early, you get to see a little bit of what, uh, you know, what's going on, try and get a feel for uh, what things might look like here in a couple weeks when the leaves start dropping. And uh, uh, I like it. I like being out. It's good to get a good sweat out there. Hunt hard, you know? That's right. Got to do something like that. Got to. Got to earn it. Got to earn it. So anyways, we're going to get out here. We're going to try to find him a spot. He's got a, he's already got a stand set up, but you got to put a boat in and get to it. It's kind of tough to access it. So we're going to try to find him somewhere a little easier to access, scout it out, get a couple cameras hung. Like I said, we've got what, two, two weeks, three weeks? We got three weeks before season gets here. So it's right around the corner. The weeks are going by fast and we love it. We're ready for deer season. Oh yeah. So stick with us. We're headed to the public now. We'll be there in probably what, 20 minutes? Yeah, probably about so. 20, 25. All right. Sweet. Shoot him straight fetch. He's on his way now. <laughs> let's go. Oh, that's some good stuff. Okay. Let's, let's go check it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause about a couple years ago, we tried down in over here because there was a lot of activity at the edge of that field right there. Yeah, me and Vance, yeah, I, we put a ground blind in uh, and hunted in it one day, me and Vance did. I actually curled up in a ball on the floor of the ground blind and slept the whole time. <laughs> yeah. And uh, woke up to three doe in the field. Well, Vance woke me up to three doe in the field and said, there's three doe coming our way. <laughs> I was snoring, I guess. They didn't pick up on that, did they? No, I was sleepy. Got nestled in there, had some corn stalks on the ground I slept on. Pretty good little nap. Real country style right there. That's right. So coming down here looking for his cam, getting down here to check some pictures. We you can see a pretty good rib right there and uh, it's got to feel like it's, they're coming down here they're staging a little bit and then if you follow that right through here we follow this across a little bit of a trail running right through here and then as we get closer you can have a look at the the beans right here you can see with them all made up so we'll stay in here but you can see there where they're eating all the tops of them off so it looks like you got a lot. It looks like we've got some feeding activity right here. Then you can see where Devin's at right now. So they're coming in through there. So we're hoping to get some good shots over there. We're going to check the cam and see uh, see what kind of shots we got. How long's it been out, Devin? About a week. About eight days. Yeah. About eight days. So hopefully we've got some good stuff on there. It looks like they're trampling down over here a lot. So there's a lot of activity right here. Oh yeah, you can see where they're running through all this. There. Uh, Seems like it'd be a good spot. I mean, if you've got, if you've got them coming through here. I mean, yeah, for sure. What I like about it too, since it's, we do a lot of early hunting, we do a lot of archery. It's just, there's not a lot of ground cover here, mm -hmm. so we really don't have to mess with what's here. Oh right no, now. it's perfect. You got have, plenty of shooting lanes. You, know, you have good lines. Because to this access, to this right here, to this trail that's coming through here, I'm thinking if we set up into this somewhere back into it a little bit so we got the cover right and you got what ma at max a 30 yard shot so you got you know you're be 20 yards off the trail into the thicket right in here yeah, 
you will get a good shot. Yeah. You've got a lot of good shooting lanes. Absolutely. Some good lines. Guess I'll bring this over here and let them see what we're looking at. This year will be my first year hunting with it. Got a buck coming through. Well, they weren't tits, bud. Nice buck. They sink their head in and stay there. They don't run around and bite you. Oh, they're moving through just like we thought they were going to. That's a good looking buck. Alright, we're going to head over to the next spot and check that camera. This one here looks pretty good. It's everything we thought it'd be. The deer coming through just like we thought they would. It looks good. That's a nice looking buck. All right, we just made it out here. We're gonna head in here and check the trail camera. Mike got himself into a mess of turkey ticks. <laughs> no, I got them all. So we had to stop early on the side of the road and brush them off. I had them all over me. Let him get out and. Clean them all off of him. Them things are hungry. We're almost to the camera now. Gotta get back here where other people aren't. Not very many people wanna make these hikes. All right, so we're losing daylight. We hiked all the way back to the woods back here. <laughs> and we're out here now. Devin, look at him right there. He can't find his camera. <laughs> no. It was rainy. I'm just gonna see. Here it goes. This is what I've been hearing. It was rainy. Something else going on. There's whatever. Blah blah blah. <laughs> I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it. It's somewhere over here. Then we walk a little bit further from back there. It's somewhere over here. I know it's right here. <laughs> We are back here though. There's nobody comes out here. Public land, that's a big, that's a big part of it. Especially, you know, he, he mentioned the Orange Army earlier. And there's a lot of truth to that because public land comes out. You, you come out on public land and it's like a war zone. And you get so many people coming out for the weekend. They're shooting at everything that's moving. But we like to do the early hunt. Archery is a little bit more up close, so it's a little more intimate. You know, it takes a little bit more prep, a little bit more planning. You got a little bit more to consider. A lot of things you don't have to consider if you're sitting 300 yards away from something or 200 yards away. Here you're 10, 20, 30 yards away, so you've got a lot more things to consider. Well, look at that. He found it. Found it. That's what it looks like. I was walking to the wrong. I had two marks on my Onyx map. It's hot. It's hot, Don. Let's get out of here. This woods looks amazing. Right this way, Mike. Right up here. <laughs> you like all that buck down? You look at that. That's right. I like it. Good job, bud. Got to see the little Vietnam out here. Good job. Woo! After a full day of scouting in the deer woods, looks like you can teach an old dog new tricks.